Hello YouTube, I'm today I'm going to try to give a detailed instruction on how to get Froyo uh, 2.2.1 running on your Droid Eris. Uh, I've looked everywhere on the internet and I cannot seem to find a detailed and straightforward installation video or instruction on how to get this shit working. So finally I just messed around with it for a while and finally I got it working pretty good. So I have already done it and it is on Froyo 2.2.1. So see it right there. And yes, it is a droid Eris. Okay, let's begin. First, you're going to want to root your Eris. Uh, if you are on anything other than 2.1, uh, it's best to upgrade to that. Or if you're on something higher, then this is probably meaningless. First, we're going to go to Market. And then we're going to click on Search. And then we're going to search for, just type in Eris, one click. So I've already looked it up and um, right there it will probably be the top one just click on that install it and I've already got it installed so just open and you will get this screen I can't really see the text but Anyways, um, basically it's just saying that we are not responsible if you fuck up your phone. So, if you are, uh, it's best to back up your phone before doing this. Uh, to back up, just turn off your phone and then uh, restart by holding the um, volume up button and the power button. And uh, you'll see a screen with a uh, green options going down and use the trackball to scroll up and down uh, and then you'll uh, see one that says backup or restore or something like that and uh, just follow the instructions and back up everything on there I made the mistake of not backing it up and I have no way to go back to my previous 2.21 uh, not that I really want to but it would be nice if this started to mess up so just in case. So after you're done with that, after you've clicked, there's a little button that says I agree, root me. Uh, I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again. Um, you're going to click that and it's going to um, come up with a screen. Well, it'll come up with this. Please reboot your device, Eris. Rooter will flash a custom recovery on boot. After you reboot, shut down your phone again. And then restart, of course, by holding the volume up button and power to reboot into recovery. And from that, you will go to flash zip from SD card. It'll be an option. I'll show you that in a sec. And um, from there, you can either choose root me, which is a recommended thing to do first and then flash a custom ROM okay so let's go ahead and turn off the phone for it to power off okay so now we're going to hold the volume up button and push the power button. And you can release it after you're done. And then you're going to see this screen. There we go. Now this was the backup restore I was talking about. You would uh, back up the NAND and the BART. So, and to go back, just push the uh, volume down button. 
So um, first we're going to do the root me. So you're going to click on this one, flash zip from SD card. Just click on that. And I already got a couple on there. So you're going to select this one right there, root me zip. And you're going to click on that. I've already done it. So it's, then it's going to ask you uh, install SD card uh, root me zip. Uh, you will press the trackball. Uh, to confirm um, and any other key to abort so I'm not going to do it right now and then after that's done uh, I would recommend rebooting your phone so you'd reboot and then after that you can download a um, custom ROM uh, in this time I'm going to show you uh, how to get uh, Froyo 2.2.1 onto uh, here and I'll show you where to download the uh, ROM for it Go ahead and go over to the computer. Pick up. This is the site. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, there might be a newer version by the time you see this, so go ahead and go with the most updated version. So you're going to go ahead and um, find the download link. It's going to be from Taz Froyo GB version 26 if you're using this if it's still this version so you're gonna click on multi upload and hopefully my internet is okay and it is 71.64 megabytes after you're done downloading that put it in the main folder of your SD card do not put it in anywhere else just in the main folder do not put it inside of a folder or anything just leave it there and then um that's pretty much it and also if you'd like to um, flash uh, gingerbread which is uh, 2.3 onto your Eris, uh, there is somebody that has done that uh, there are uh, quite a few bugs that still need to be worked out uh, there is no market so uh, there's not really any way to install apps of any kind uh, that I know of anyway so I'll put a link for this one in the description if you just want the uh, 2.3 so it'd be um, you click on let's see where is it be where did it go uh, down by the bottom so you click on version 8 or the newest version that there is and uh, same thing with the um, the Froyo zip you download this one from Mega Upload or whatever. Um, put it into the main folder on your SD card and you're ready to go. So um, let's go back to the Eris. Okay. All right, once you've put those onto your SD card, um, after you've restarted, after doing the flash or root me zip, you'd go back to flash zip from SD card. And um, if you're doing the Froyo, you'd click on this one. Let's see a little more. Uh, the vanilla Taz version 28 or whatever version is out. Um, or you would do the gingerbread update. Uh, which is on version 8. Um, personally, I would say go with the Froyo for now until they've completely worked out all the kinks from the uh, gingerbread update. Um, and uh, the Froyo version uh, that Vanilla Taz uh, put out is pretty stable for now. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, once you're done, you just do the same like with the root me zip. Uh, you would click on it and it would ask you to confirm by pressing the trackball. Of course, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. So you'd, you would push the trackball. And um, that's pretty much it. And then after you're done, go ahead and uh, power off. And press it again and it'll shut down. Once that's done, go ahead and just boot up normally. Uh, the first boot will take a while, I'd say about five minutes. And um, 
if you keep getting the uh, force close, the Android process has stopped. Uh, you did not flash it correctly, so go ahead and go back to the volume up menu, and uh, there's going to be an option down there that says wipe. So you're going to click on that, and it'll ask you to confirm and all that. Do that, and then reflash it. Uh, redo the root me zip, and um, try doing them both at the same time. So first you do the root me zip, after it's done go back to uh, flash zip from SD card, then flash the uh, operating system, and then uh, turn it off and reboot. So, so far, so good. Um, it's booting up. And if this little guy keeps dancing for more than like something ridiculous like 30 minutes, then you've done it wrong completely uh, just take out the battery and um, uh, reflash it again so if you've done any, everything correctly uh, the first thing you'll see it'll ask uh, to set up everything like your Google account and a few things that uh, the guy wants from you um, so yeah if you've done everything correctly uh -oh. okay done everything correctly you should be flashed on Android 2.2.1 so and then also with this uh, fro particular uh, ROM uh, for, for uh, Froyo uh, it gives you the options to um, overclock your uh, processor automatically without installing any applications so you'd go to performance settings and of course it would um, warn you options in here will change the performance of your system p potentially for the worse they are included for experimentation and we request you do not file bug reports if you've changed any of the defaults so uh, for some reason it will not let me change the um, governor so that kinda sucks but uh, I believe the <laughs> The um, only one it'll let me select is uh, Smartass. Uh, I believe it is pretty snappy. Everything works pretty good. When it first boots up, it's a little buggy, so um, let it load up for a little while. And uh, everything works pretty good. Uh, and um, since the uh, settings uh, CPU control wouldn't let me, I just downloaded set CPU and uh, so far it's been working pretty good and uh, that's about it uh, everything works pretty good the market works just fine um, I'd also recommend um, the only thing I really like about Android more than the iPhone is the ability to download torrents there are is not one good app app for a current iPhone that can use torrents. There are like five different ones on the Android market that work pretty good. Uh, I personally have one. Mm. Whoops. It will do that um, if you have set CPU installed. Uh, it kind of conflicts with the. Uh, integrated uh, CPU overclock settings um, so sometimes it potentially freezes and the only way to get out of that is of course take out the battery but other than that it works pretty good uh, it's a pretty stable ROM just um, mess around with the settings and see what works best for you uh, please uh, comment and tell me if I'm doing anything wrong and um, yeah uh, thank you for watching